Hello, welcome to that 90s wrestling podcast. I'm your host, James Tunstall, and today I've got a very special guest. UK fans can watch him every week at, on Impact Wrestling on the Impact Plus app. He is the Punjabi powerhouse, Mr. Mahaba Bali Shira. How are you doing, Shira? Good, sir. How are you? And I'm, I'm so glad to be with you, man. Uh, like, of course, it's the 90s wrestling. It's telling story about the 90s. And like, I really like that uh, name, you know, your podcast. Oh, and cool. everyone who's listening to me, hey, I'm your Mahabali Shira, the Indian lion, big power Punjabi house. I'm here with this man. I'm so excited. Of course, of course, of course, because it's in the UK, because I miss UK. And then I know there is a lot of people missing impact wrestling. I know maybe we get a chance over there soon, but I don't know yet. But I'm so excited to join this conversation with you, man. Oh, thank you so much. And uh, we miss you. And it was one of the things I was going to mention because uh, Impact Wrestling's always had such a strong following over here in the UK. And yes. e even going back to our childhoods, like the United Kingdom and Europe in general, that we've always been big fans of wrestling, like especially during the early 90s, which me and you is of a similar age so how big was wrestling like over in india like during the early 90s for yourself uh i think 90s is still stuck with me also because yes i believe when i was watching wrestling like these people is you know they're giant because okay because if I was maybe there at that point 16 15 year old I'm really really young kid I'm watching this of course, is totally different sports for me. And then yeah. also is make you scared, like how these people move, like Hughes, they're beating people, they make you believe. And this is a, like definitely for, uh, you know, version of the movie, but next level, because you're going to go to watch a movie, you can see the live action, there's a movie, but this is totally different sports. I yeah. was so scared when I was watching and then I was like, <laughs> I want to do that. Yeah. In one day, you know, and then I think that is still I want to do in with my career to yeah. make people believe that India, you know, I have been in India my like uh, 27 years over there, the wrestling hues. And yeah. They are crazy about wrestling. They are crazy about cricket. But again, the biggest word you can uh, say wrestling is huge. And then also uh, they think this is a crazy. I don't know how they do. They are so excited to see this thing. But my, I just still want to, you know, in this uh, upcoming in my future or, you know, how I want to believe them. This is it's a really hard sports. You can't compare it with, because I'm a part of this now. Okay. Yeah. And I, it's, it's honor for me to representing wrestling, wrestling, yeah. and then also honor to representing India. Now it's more, you know, have job and, you know, responsibility to make them more believable. What I was a saw, and then that's make me scary. And same thing I want to do if someone come to see me, fuck, oh, this is a scary, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so I, this is still as like, I, I really relate. I, I do like any show I do, you know, uh, this house show I was doing and I'm talking with House you know, you know, because I'm in OVW, uh, yep. I do some show with OVW also. And then me and I have same mindset. Yeah. I was UK, you know, with Arsenal also. So yeah, man, I'm a big fan of 90s, you know. Then also, again, India love wrestling. They just yep. need the people representable. Yeah, it's great seeing the shows. And one of the big uh, promotions that Impact Wrestling done was uh, Ring Car King. And uh, it was it was great, like, being able to see, like, some of some, for example, some of the stars wasn't being as used on Impact, like, at the time, Magnus and even Scott Steiner coming over and you was having like, you know, this big promotion. It was great stuff. And uh, I'm going to have to ask you, you was in the ring with him. What's Scott Steiner like? I bet he's pretty crazy behind the scenes. <laughs> it is. It is. Believe me. Uh, uh, okay. So here is the thing, you know, this is make me scared because everyone's talking about Scott, Scott, because yeah. Scott is crazy, you know, Scott that, Scott that. Everyone make me scared. I was... Uh, 
everything I do, I bring my confidence because I can do this, you know, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I was on a really less, like two month experience with the drink and oh, wow. never done wrestling. And they put me, you know, on show. And then you maybe saw that show and I was wow, super excited. That's for me, like a dream come true. And then working yeah. with people who have been like, you know, huge for this business. Uh, this sports and uh, I hate business. I don't want to say this business it is a sports. So yeah. I love the sports and then I grow up to so you know watching them. Then I say, oh my god, I'm gonna gonna fight with him. Yeah. I asked a million times, what do you want to do? Like he said, you can ask. He was super nice. And then something happened. That scariness still go to ring with me, and yeah. somehow I just lost myself. He gave me a really huge punch. Hit. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was the first punch. He knocked me out for a second. <laughs> <Really>. <laughs> yeah, but it was on. I didn't mad. I just like, because, you know, two months, yeah. two month training, you know, and put some like a huge star and uh, I was nervous. But that was a huge deal for me. You know, was Rinka King. Working yeah. With Magnus, working with the... Uh, Scott Steiner working with the Jeff Jarrett, like working with the Chris Master, man, different level. And they changed me and they, uh, I found my dream and then I stopped what I was doing. This is what I want to do in my future. This is what I want to do my whole life. Yeah, it was yeah. awesome. And uh, hopefully when the world becomes normal again, uh, they may be able to do a tour back over there, which I would imagine you miss it. So what was it like signing with Impact Wrestling and leaving India? I mean, such a big step in your life. So what was it like coming to that decision? Very emotional, uh, very emotional journey. I I wait for two and a half years. When I, uh, we done the Rinka King show and then I am the only person who was very scared because yeah. we were scared by because what I'm going to do now because we don't have wrestling here. Right. And finally, I find what I want to do in my life. But I didn't, I can't see anything. Look like it's blind, it's dark everywhere for me. And I was very sad. Some people moved to Bollywood because yeah. they have, you know, famous, get famous and then they can do some Bollywood. But I don't want to do that. I no. just want to do wrestling. And then I go back to stay, uh, where I'm from in North Side in Punjab. I wait in two and a half years, pray every single day to God, please God. I don't want to do anything in my life. I just want wrestling. I want to sign with Impact Wrestling. That's it. That was my goal. Two and a half years. No one believed me. My friends was putting finger. What are you doing? You're wasting your time. I'm a very believable person. I believe in God. And then finally, Jeff Jarrett texts me. He sent me contract. And then I was the most person happy in that world. That yeah. day, 2014, uh, sorry, 2013 in November, when he called me. Oh, wow. So he oh. sent me contract and then, uh, you know, Scott Stein, uh, sorry, Kurt Angle is also my mentor. He introduced me to India as a first Indian wrestler. Nice. The huge. <clears throat> yeah. Huge for me, I'm blessed. I was still talking to someone yesterday when I was a 17 year old. Or 16 year old when I would start gymming, yeah. we were like very like eight by eight, you know, one room, and we start workout. There is a, you know, cut angle or wrestling, you know, wrestling poster. But I never think I'm gonna be one of the one of that. Uh, like in the future, I will be part of this wrestling. I never thought right. this is a huge man, and I I don't have word to describe how it was for me this deal. And I'm still introducing my country in this sports. This is still a huge for me. I'm still living a dream. Yeah, it was awesome. And uh, one of the things uh, they done when you first came in, so they paired you up in the revolution with uh, James Storm, Manic, Sonada, and yeah, Abyss. So like all great talents. So what was it like being paired up with this group? And I suppose they was kind of being your mentors, you could say. So, you know, just easing you into the company, I suppose. Yeah, uh, uh, again, uh, you know, uh, that was, of course, I was nervous. And then also yeah. I was confident uh, because uh, I believe uh, in myself. And then it's it's huge. Uh, when I first time saw Kurt Angle in Slam anniversary, 
2015. Yes. And then uh, that was first time before he introduced me. In, in uh, he I we have Slam University in Pennsylvania, and the first time I saw to you know cut angle, I was scared because his eyes. I was yes. super young, man. His neck so huge, and yeah. I I was not believe like I'm really part of this uh, people, you know, right now, I'm just a sign, I'm going to be work with them, like Jeff Hardy's, Matt Hardy's, everyone there. And then whenever uh, the time come, they put me on uh, the gym storm, you know, and yeah. uh, as a Koya, uh, wasn't, of course, was nervous, but uh, very excited. I still remember my debut in uh, New York. Yeah, it was 27 in January. Uh, uh, we had a first uh, match with the you know, uh, Tiger Uno. That's right, yeah, yes. And uh, it's dream come true. I was nervous, but whenever it, I pray, you know, every time I go to ring, and uh, uh, before I you know, jump on the gray line, then I forget who I am, I forget what I'm gonna do. I just this is a this is a mind. And I'm gonna do this in my way. Yeah. So it's two part of personality every person have. I'm a very nice, sweet, you know, with the the people who are working is honor for me. But also, yeah. when you ring, you have to be different person. You have to represent the person you working with. That you representing the company. The make sure the people hire you. They happy what you're doing. You know, it's it's whole different mindset but it's take it's, it takes so long so long to still i'm you know it's somewhere you know i feel like i still can't kind of believe but you know it's, i just work at the james room uh three four weeks ago that's right but i was like hey you don't know me yeah i'm not that person who you was you was slapping me around i'm a different person i'm the lion of this jungle you are taking down my jungle and i'm not going <laughs> anymore i'm not going to take any slaps anymore okay yeah. he did so many slaps me you know but that was really hurt <clears throat> but awesome. again plus honor honor <laughs> great stuff and um you spent you eventually uh split from became baby face and uh one of your tag team partners was uh, the UK's own uh, Grado. Uh, first, did you understand his accent? And second, how much fun was he to be around with? Grado is a great guy. He's a fun. He's, he's a fun man. Like he's a huge star. There is no doubt. And uh, it's like it's a really uh, blessed. I can bless because you know the working with the people who experience and yeah. huge star, and that's also build you. You know for. A, the audience and UK, you know, everywhere. Uh, that was great. I was had a really fun with the great one. and he's a super nice. I learn a lot, but I don't learn how he speak because I never <laughs> yeah. know. I was like, man, you are trouble because it's really hard for me to speak English. And now they put with you and yeah. I don't understand you at all. But <laughs> it, it, I had a good, good time with Grado and we had a good tag match and um, yeah. I like Credo, and he's he's super nice. Yeah. Well, well awesome. And uh, you mentioned him earlier, so that eventually led towards a feud between yourself and Al Snow. And uh, I know you've been doing a lot of uh, OVW tapings lately, which uh, I've been enjoying uh, watching that as well. So, uh, what's Al Snow like to, to be around? Uh, I can imagine he's quite tough on everyone. <laughs> yeah, he he's a tough, but he's like okay, he's telling the truth. The truth yeah. is not the, is, uh, truth is not make you comfortable. Truth is truth. This is that's why I'm saying, you know, me and Al Snow have different mindset. I'm still yeah. learning, you know, I'm not saying, you know, it's everyone learning, and you know, it's been five years for me, but I'm still trying to find myself who I am. He's helping me, but also telling me, you know, like you can lie everyone, you can't lie yourself. And I yeah. this is truth. Like, this is if I want to motivate my people, you know, I want to motivate my, motivate my family. Mr. Same thing I'm explaining them. That's why I love us, you know. Uh, anything I do, we review the matches also every week, you know. I have been, uh, soon I, I get from back from India to here, I have been tra training every single week, like two, three day training every single show. He's helping me, of course. And like, 
some people don't understand how but i do understand what he exactly yeah. trying to explain you just who you are you know be who you are and just make people believe and this is that's why i just uh you know have a really good uh, uh friendship with dao and he understand me i was yeah when i was a uh, in orlando we had uh, you know taping all the time in orlando orlando i was cry i was yeah. uh, uh, asked to also no sir please help me i'm not finding find, find, finding myself in this ring because i feel i'm not belonging in this ring and that's why he you know helped me to put uh, uk for 6 8 month to help me and then now it's really uh, again is i'm so excited i'm happy because i live in louisville kentucky right now and then i can see him every single week you know yeah and then also uh, i'm representing ovw and i have more work to do and you know uh, to be more uh, uh, representable and also uh, it's going to be help me to for uh, grow you know in this yeah. sports so i'm taking every uh, tuesday show and he putting me every different person and i'm i'm eating i'm eating and i'm building me my building myself i'm building my confidence and that's helped me to for impact wrestling so awesome yes it's it's and also <laughs> every tuesday you know wrestling uh, now we moving thursday so basically but uh, every tuesday i'm on a uh, ovw and every tuesday i'm packed you know so it's good <laughs> it's good strong work uh, str- yeah. strong work ethic so um go cool. and uh, you had a couple of years away from the fact but you made your grand return and You teamed up with uh, Rohit Raju, which is one of my favorites, but then you's a uh, split up an avenue for you. So I'm enjoying that. So for 2021, what's your goals? Do you think you're going to try and chase uh, some championship gold this year? Do you reckon? Yes, uh, I believe if uh, you know the the way I'm going right now, I hope I can get heavyweight championship from OBW. Yeah. And uh, this is my year goal. I want to be different level in this year. This is my goal. Yeah. was a matter sorry uh that's why i'm putting so much work on uh, this course because uh, what i'm trying to build and what i can see you know i just make sure whenever is opportunity come to my plate and then i'm going to eat it that's why awesome. i just as that's why i'm just doing every single week keep it keep it up keep it up learning myself you know what i can bring best what i can do best to make people believe you know and yep. rohit is a kind of me is a younger younger brother you know yep. but you know sometimes you get mad and he just he think is smart but he sometimes you forget because i can whip him out too you know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, he's great uh, he's a great wrestler he's a great athlete and uh, uh he's doing good but just make sure he don't want to miss with me because you know i'm i may be in line so i can oh yeah just, just <laughs> need put him in his place <laughs> yeah yeah cool that's great so thank you very much for coming on the show it's been a great time speaking to you but uh before we go where can everyone find you on social media yes sir uh you can find me on social media you know uh follow me on instagram at the mahabali shera and uh, i I love UK fans and I just want to tell you, please if you miss just in case you miss you know back wrestling make sure you find the app so you can watch back wrestling you know over there and then also we moving Thursday you know so make sure you guys are ready and anytime UK fans you need me text me I will respond and then I love UK I hope we can there and we can do not share our stuff but we can make them people believe what we do in this ring <laughs> Awesome. It's an yes. absolute pleasure having you on the show, Sherry. Thank you, man. Pleasure to me. Jenny. Hey, it's James here. Thanks for checking out this interview. Hope you enjoyed it. And before we get into next week's guest, I just want to say to everyone, thanks for the support you've been giving the channel lately because it's really, really been helping a lot and our numbers has been shooting up lately. And because of that, I've been able to attract some more guests for the show. So thank you so much. And If you haven't subscribed or like or shared this channel, please do so. It really does help us out and grab your listen on podcast form or on YouTube. By all means, just if you drop us a like and subscribe. And uh, as for an announcement for next week's interview, uh pretty big one. So, it's the one and only bro. It's uh Vince Russo. So, 
big interview. Uh, a lot of stuff to unpack during this interview. We talk about him joining WWE, why Stone Cold was the one guy who got picked to lead the company. I uh, spoke about The Rock, Kane and Undertaker, their feud and their storylines, Mr. McMahon, him leaving WWE, joining WCW, putting the title on himself. We have a chat about that and things I agreed with and a lot of things I disagree with, but we had a civil chat about it. And we also talk about him joining TNA and uh, Dixie Carter and what led to the demise of TNA and whose bright idea was it to uh, put Impact up against Monday Night Raw. So, yeah, a lot to talk about this one. So it's going to be a big interview. So hopefully, if you have the time, please check it out. So, yeah, thanks again, everyone. And, yeah, I'll catch you in the next interview. Bye.